Hey, good morning. It's Mark. I want to talk with you about a um, about a transfer of a concept from uh, retail and largely wholesale um, inventory to hospital-based medical groups. So in inventory, there is a concept uh, known by the acronym or the acronyms LIFO and FIFO. LIFO is last in, first out. FIFO is first in, first out. It has to do with how um, a uh, company would uh, account for the profit on the sale of some item of inventory. So let's say they have a um, hundred um, you know, widgets in stock, some of which were purchased for um, a buck a piece, some of which were purchased for a dollar fifty a piece. Uh, how do you know when a widget is sold, uh, whether the, the gain, whether the profit was measured on the purchase price of a dollar, the wholesale price of a dollar, or the wholesale price of a buck fifty. And then, how do you value that inventory um, uh, upon a sale of the company? Well, the same notions of, are you looking at the first one in, it was the first one sold, or do you look at the last one in, it was the first one sold, applies to hospital-based groups in the context of the changes that are going on in healthcare, in particular in the hospital industry, with an amazing number of hospitals shrinking or closing. How does a group of 100 physicians, as opposed to the the 100 widgets, uh, how does it account for in terms of whose work is going to be cut back, in terms of who may have to be let go? Is it by seniority, which would be the first in, is the last out, um, or is it some other method? Is it based on specialty? Uh, what if um, business has moved to a surgery center and uh, pursuant to the recommendations I've been making in these videos and on the blog, you've realized that you would better spread your business to surgery centers or say if you're in the imaging business to freestanding facilities. Uh, what if the skills needed uh, for the business as it's shifted in terms of the type of facility served have changed, such as it cuts in the group's best interest to keep the recently hired folks because they're better equipped to be working at those facilities. So there are a number of issues here. Uh, there's no easy answer to them, but you don't want to have the, the discussion. You don't want to have to make the decision with your back up against the wall. You want to consider this now, not only because of the uh, elements uh, involved in um, terms of coming to those tough decisions, but in terms of documenting this, because these provisions have got to be incorporated into your group's uh, employment agreements, uh, partnership agreements, and so on. Uh, if not, you're simply asking for a lawsuit that is going to be far more expensive and far more difficult to resolve uh, than uh, dealing with this upfront.